My name is Christina. I'm your librarian here at Christine's Bookshelf, and today I am bringing you Family Obligations, a short story by Vivian Dean and Rick R. Reed, published by Dream Spinner Press, and it is out now. So if you like my review, I will leave links down below for you so you can just kind of like go over, get it, and enjoy. As I said, this is a short story, so if you just find yourself, you know, with an hour or two, and you just want something that packs emotions, but doesn't become overwhelming or too stimulating, this story is really just a story. It's not a romance, so to speak. There's no mystery to solve. It just is. We have Tate D'Angelo, who has grown up, has both parents, mother, father, sees his father in like this certain light. His dad, a doctor, you know, a devoted person to the family. His dad dies really quickly and really young. And we're at the funeral. A gentleman comes and gives Tate a flash drive and says, when you're ready, here's this side of your father you never knew. And it's this secret romance. And it shows what his father sacrificed, what this other gentleman had to go through, how life went for them after decisions were made. And I don't want to say too much. I don't want to give a lot away because it is really, really short. But as I said, it packs emotions. I was livid at one point, like, are you serious? But I had to stop and think of the time. So some people made the sacrifice of living how you were supposed to live. And some people said, you know, I don't give a damn, F it, this is life, this is how I'm gonna live it. And when you have two people and they both have the extreme views on how they're going to live life, it kind of, you know, it's like when you have those magnets and they just, they're not going to connect. There were parts that I just ached. I was just so torn from being angry just to kind of completely sad and just, rest and I would be happy and oh my gosh look at this and to watch Tate go through I mean he's in grief from his father's death and then he's going through all these mixed emotions on here's the man that I buried here's the man I thought I buried here's the man Vivian Dean and Rick Ari did a really good job of compacting such intenseness into such a small story it was lovely it was so nice after reading so many kind of fluffy things to get something with a little bit more depth and emotion but like I said it's it's not overwhelming stimulating if you're looking for rough hot sex this is not it if you're looking for pure romance this isn't it this is just a wonderful well-written story that I am giving four stars. So as a favor from you to me, I'm going to ask that you go to Dream Spinner's website, make yourself a profile. If you have one, yay! If you don't, go do that. That way, one, you're supporting a small publisher, two, the author gets more money, and three, Amazon gets none. If you are that true one clickaholic and you just have to do it that way, no judgments, I will also leave the Amazon link down below for you. If you've enjoyed my review, I'm gonna ask that you give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love interacting with people. And just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to be one of those people that says look for review every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But that's kind of not how life works. And that's the magic of the subscribe button. Is that you will get a notification when I have a new review out for you. If you like me and think this chick is pretty awesome and you'd like to figure out where you can find me, down below I will also leave my Facebook page and my Twitter. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read, I will also leave my email address down below. Family Obligations by Vivian Dean and Rick R. Reed out now. Four stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you the second edition of Why I Love Geeks by T.A. Chase, published by Dream Spinner Press. So, Why I Love Geeks. Let me count the ways. They're very reliable, very informative, very um, introverted, and they kind of tell you how it is without any thought in the world as to your feelings. And I love the straightforwardness, but this is a book review.